Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Quotes 192. Quote today is by Milton Friedman. Again, this is about, uh, I think this is about the third one we've done by him. He's a very famous economist. All right, let's take a look at today's quote. We have a system that increasingly taxes work and subsidizes non-work. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, Milton Friedman is basically letting us know uh, that we have a system that punishes the hardest, most productive individuals and, and maybe even companies and rewards the least productive. Uh, when you have a system like this, uh, it eventually leads to more and more people jumping on the bandwagon of government entitlements, free handouts, more government subsidies, etc. Yeah, so, you know, more people might be willing to stay on a welfare or take some sort of entitlements or free handouts from the government by having a lower and a lower income. That's basically what he's saying. If you could survive somewhat comfortably without working hard uh, and having a lot more free time, it may be enough for many less ambitious people. Yeah, I've, I've heard of this a lot of times where people might you know, you could get a full-time job, and if, you know, your economy or your, your income level is not really that high, and maybe working 40, 50 hours per week, maybe you only end up with an extra 40 or $50 above what you would have gotten on uh, welfare or some government subsidies without working at all. So some people, it's, they, they're not encouraged enough. Uh, you know, they may say, well, I could cut back a little and, and do nothing. So sometimes that happens, that, that ends up creating what we call a welfare state, where more and more people become comfortable in their poverty. And they don't really have the ambition to go above it. So basically, Milton Freeman is kind of suggesting this. Uh, this is one of the things that could happen when we, we, we basically, we kind of reward people for being less productive and earning less money. All right, let's continue. Uh, on the other hand, it may limit productive behavior. Uh, uh, the more your profits or income are taxed, the less incentive you have to work harder. Yeah, so uh, we see this all the time, especially people that might be on the borderline between, uh, you know, a, a higher or a lower tax rate. Sometimes if they're getting close to it, they think, well, I might go over it just by a little bit. And if you go over it by a little bit, a lot of times it's not worth it because suddenly you're taxed a lot more. You might actually lose money. So some of these people may decide to, well, why should I bother? I'll just work less and be safer. Uh, why, why, why go through the trouble of earning more money and just barely going over and, and moving into another tax bracket? So you hear people do this uh, all the time, basically. Uh, or uh, I've heard recently where sometimes, uh, you know, in, in places where sometimes, uh, like if you're retired and you earned over so much money, uh, then they will tax you at a higher rate uh, if you were getting like a, a government pension or uh, you know your social security or something if you get that with something else then you're also taxed higher so there are even even older more senior people that were still wanted to work uh, again they're taking away their incentive to do it so that's what ends up happening so you're actually kind of punishing the people that are most ambitious, the people that could give the most, you're punishing them more. Uh, and the people that work uh, the least or the people that have the least production are actually being rewarded more. That's, again, what he's kind of saying. Uh, remember, with the last quote from Milton Freeman, too, he, he didn't feel like the government spent the money very well, too. Remember, that was another one of his points from his last quotes, is really the people who spend the money the most are the ones that actually earn it. Uh, since the government never earns its own money, it's not very often careful on how it spends the money. Uh, and also with the government, in, the more the government gets involved, usually the more corruption you have, the more fraud you have. Uh, we've heard of many cases of people maybe sometimes collecting several welfare checks, having several different addresses and, and things along this line. Um, where they're not really entitled to the money, but somehow they can figure out a way to trick the system. And, and do this. So it, it encourages that more as well. Uh, all right, let's continue. Uh, all right, so 
again, we, we kind of we, we take away the incentive to work harder, expand businesses. You know, some some businesses want to expand more, but sometimes they'll hold back for a while until they can maybe push a lot further ahead or uh, they're worried they can't handle it yet. So they would almost prefer to stay small. Maybe it's easier to handle. So it's actually stopping production uh, sometimes. Uh, or do uh, important things that help economic growth or stimulate it. So in many ways, by having a system like this, sometimes you you limit the possibilities of the growth of your economy and you know the availability of jobs and things like that. Sometimes you're, you're hurting yourself. Remember, we have that old phrase, you know, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. You know, don't do things that actually come back to hurt you in this way. Um, Okay, good. So here we say, if um, this is another thing, it may encourage the hardest, most productive workers to go where the taxes are the least. All right, um, we see this all the time. Sometimes within the states, maybe they just move to another state that has less tax. But what's worse is sometimes, especially big companies, maybe they'll actually move overseas, and then you lose all that tax money you were getting and all that income the government could have gotten from them because they're, they're going overseas or they're finding tax loopholes, uh, you know, where if the tax was more fair, maybe they just wouldn't hide it at all. They wouldn't bother. So sometimes, again, you're hurting yourself by having a system like this. So taxes are the least, including overseas. That's, that's another thing that, uh, you know, supposedly Trump wanted to do. Uh, he tried to get them to come back on their own by offering them less tax. They may come back, may bring the money back to this country uh, or bring the money back to at least the U.S. rather than the companies looking for some other place to either hide their money or, you know, or to, to avoid paying higher taxes. So again, this is, this is basically what Milton Freeman is saying. Um, it just does. Uh, now, probably most people would agree that you should have some sort of progressive tax that Maybe the more you earn, the higher percentage you're taxed. But yet, it would also be much better if we could find a more fair system so people don't think that they're being punished more. Because the more you, the more you tax them, the more it changes their behavior. Uh, okay, anyway, I uh, hope you got it. hope it was clear. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.